It is 1795 in France, and the professor of mathematical analysis reads the most insightful report he had ever seen. This report was written by an M. Leblanc, but that student was no good at math and gave up Bye. studying altogether in the university. Who was this mysterious person? Meet Sophie Germain, the extremely studious middle daughter of the wealthy Germain family in Paris. Because the French Revolution started in 1789 when Germain was 13, she remained home and studied in her father's library. So much so that her parents found her one morning asleep in the library where it was so cold that the ink in the ink wheels had frozen solid. Six years later, in 1795, the École Polytechnique University's analysis professor, Joseph Louis Lagrange, assigned his students to submit writing observations on his course. The stellar report from the mysterious M. Leblanc left Lagrange to search who wrote such a paper. Once it was revealed to him that M. Leblanc was Germain, as she was unable to officially attend the university because she was a woman, his respect for her increased and he became her mathematical counselor, setting Germain as the only woman in the mathematics community. One of Germain's greatest achievements was winning a contest in 1815 set out by the Institut de France to M. Formulate a mathematical theory of elastic surfaces and indicate just how it agrees with empirical evidence. Although a load of nonsense for many, Germain's results in the field of physics won her a 1 kilogram medal in gold, although she did not attend the award ceremony because she thought the judges did not appreciate her work. Germain continued her work in the mathematic and philosophic fields and died in June 1831 from breast cancer. Her life and achievements, an inspiration for many to continue to persevere in the sciences even in the face of discrimination. So the next time a student complains that math is boring and all the ideas come from the same dead sexist men, you can say,